In this edition, we'll take a look at a module you can use to add interest and variety to your patching. I'm starting with this fairly simple Visi patch, which includes a player, a viewer, and four different Visi modules in their max abstraction form. As you may know, you can instantiate Visi modules as max abstractions when you need to save a little programming space. It's easy to do. In an unlocked patcher window, type N to create a new object box, and then type in the letters VZ followed by a period and the name of the module you want to use in lowercase letters. Max's autocomplete feature will even help you do this as you type. When you hit the carriage return, the abstraction version of the Visi module will appear. It has exactly the same number of inlets and outlets as the Visi module you use all the time of the same name, and it works in exactly the same way. It just doesn't have a front panel. To display the object's front panel, you can lock your patcher window and then double click on the abstraction. The object's front panel will open in its own patcher window, ready to use. As you know, Visi modules work like guitar stomp boxes. That is, the order in which they're connected produces a very specific result. You can create very different effects by just changing the order in which things are connected. More modules, fewer modules, or in a different order. Wouldn't it be great to be able to automate the business of reconnecting modules on the fly? Well, there's a Visi controller module that lets you do just that the patch router module. Here's how it works. To start with, let's make a little patching space by disconnecting all the current patch cords and moving the viewer module out of the way. We'll add a patch router module to our patch by clicking on the Visi icon in the patcher window to display the Visi browser and then clicking and dragging a patch router module from the controller menu. As you can see, the patch router module has one video inlet, one video outlet, and four additional inlets and outlets. We can create a patching matrix by connecting the four outlets and inlets to Visi modules, inlets, and outlets. First, click and drag to connect the player's video outlet to the video in of the patch router module. Then, click and drag to connect the patch router's video out to the viewer module. And then complete the patch by connecting the outlets of the four Visi abstractions to the inlets of the patch router module. Connect the outputs of the patch router module to the inlets of each of the Visi abstractions in turn. Patch router output 1 goes to the first Visi effect model's inlet, and so on. When you complete the connection for the fourth abstraction, the viewer module will display the output of a patch that connects the four abstractions in sequence 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, lock your patch and let's take a look at the patch router module's controls. The front panel of the patch router module displays the order of those connections as a matrix. There is a column for each of the module's inlets. The video in, video out, and the four additional connections that we've made. Clicking in the column for an input will route its input to the destination shown for each row. For example, clicking in the lower left-hand corner is the simplest example. It sends the video input to the video out outlet without using any modules for processing. To assign a single effect, click on a square in the left-hand column. We'll route the input to video output 2. Then when we select the very bottom square in the column for video input 2, we send its output to the viewer module. To return to the original patching order, you just click on the Reset button on the module's front panel. It will reset the matrix to the 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 patch configuration we started with. 
you can reroute modules by clicking on the buttons in the matrix to your heart's content, as we just showed you. But you can also just click on the Patch Router Modules Randomize button, which will randomly repatch four modules for you in a completely different order each time you hit the button. In addition, there's a menu below that reset button that you can use to set the number of effects you want in your patching chain from one to four effects. Each time you hit the random button, that number of effects will be randomly repatched. It's a great way to investigate new combinations of effects and to get results you may not have thought of. Finally, the patch router module includes two data inlets that let you set the number of effects you want to work with and also to toggle random repatching using input from Visi generator modules. You should try adding one of your favorite generator modules, say an attractor module, and try it out yourself. I hope that learning the patch router module will help bring some fun and variety to your Visi patching life. Until next time, happy generative patching.